Hey, hey, happy hackers. My name's Andrew. This is Red Blue Labs. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do some fuzzing with Zap on a insecure directory object reference, an IDOR vulnerability. Now, these vulnerabilities exist all over the place. And we can find them manually, which is how we sort of discover them. Or we can also just blast a resource with a word list and discover all of the resources that are available to us. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started using Zap to do some fuzzing. First off, you're going to have to have Zap running. You can do this through Burp, but this video is featuring Zap. And you're going to need to have your browser pointing to that Zap proxy. I actually have a video on this, so I can put in the link of the description and you can go and watch how to set up Zap and in your browser. So let's go ahead. So I've got an example of a, a site uh, available for us that actually has an IDOR vulnerability. It's from Try Hack Me. Right, so for this particular test website, we actually need to create an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I can call it test4, give it an email, test4 at test4.com and give it a really solid password. Password. Okay, and we're gonna sign up. So we're logged in here, which is great. We're actually currently the user of test4. We're gonna to go to our account here, and this is where the vulnerability lies. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna find this vulnerability uh, manually, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, automated. First, look behind the scenes. What's going on underneath the hood? We've got this data here, it brought this up. I looked at my own account. And so in order to get the information on my account, I need to retrieve it from some resource. So let's look at the inspector here. And we're gonna dance on over to the network. And right now we don't see anything. And that's because it's already been loaded. Let's go ahead and refresh. And we can see over here, we've got something with a customer question mark ID equals 19. And this is where the vulnerability actually lies. So what happens if we change that number 19 to, to something else? Great. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try and do that. So go back to our, our resource and we got our customer ID uh, equals 19. I'm going to double click on this. And it opens up a page and it it shows me the data awesome what if we modify this somehow so i'm going to go up into the url here let's change it to id number one i'm going to hit enter and we can see that we're actually able to view data that belongs to a different user. So we've, we've discovered a vulnerability in the system. Now we can manually go through and change this ID number, one, two, three, four, and keep going. Who knows how big the database is that contains all this information. This is where automation comes in. Let's, let's blast this URL with uh, a word list. So I've got my proxy turned on here and I've got it set to green, which means that it's just gonna allow, allow traffic through. I'm gonna go back to this page here where I had my test, test 19 was being, was being called. I'm going to refresh the page. It refreshed and I'm gonna go over back to Zap. So inside of our Zap, we've got our, our sites our sites page, and we've got the data that is visible. So we've got sites, we've got the data that's being uh, sent and received. 
Now, what we need to take a look at is I actually want to go and look at the history down here of what was what was gone through, like what all the steps that we went through. So I'm actually going to click on history and I'm going to search for uh, ID equals 19. Okay, and we can see where this request occurred. So we got our, our get here. What I'm going to do, because I've, I've found the parameter that I want to attack. So I'm going to right click on it. And we're going to fly on up to the attack. And we're going to select fuzz. This opens up a separate window for you. And what we need to do is we need to isolate the parameter that we actually want to fuzz on. Where, where are we going to inject the all of the data that's going to be in our word list? And it's going to be right here where we've got our, our 19. So what do we do? Let's highlight this. This is where we're going to be fuzzing on. And I'm going to add. And what I want to do is I want to add a file. And we need to navigate to our file. So I've already pre-made a file that's got um, numbers from 1 to 100,000. You can do a whole bunch. Um, pick a word list that makes sense sense for you. That one, that one makes sense for this particular vulnerability. Select. I'm going to navigate to my word list that I made. Okay. And we can see that we've got the payload preview. And I'm going to add it. Okay. And I like that. We're going to hit OK. And we can start the fuzzer. And so it's going really fast, as you can see. And in Burp Suite, this doesn't go as fast. They they actually throttle it. And in Zap, they just say, hey, go go to town. I'm going to stop the fuzzer because I know that there isn't more than, uh, what, what are we at right now? 500? There isn't 500 resources in there. So I'm going to stop it. And we're going to go back to the top of our list here. And right away, if we shrink this a little bit, we can see that we've got some reflected, okay? Which means it's been redirected to a, a resource. If we compare it compound down, we've got 404. We've got a 404 arrow on the ones that are missing right over here. And when we go up, we can see we've got a 200 okay, which is our HTML code saying it worked. 404 didn't work. Let's look at these resources. I clicked on one and we can see that it's it has a response with a different user's name. Let's click on two. Test account. Let's click on three. Uh, John 911. And you can keep going down the list of all of the reflected. We've got Steve another admin, okay? These are all all of the available resources within this web server that we can actually access through an iDoor vulnerability. Awesome, this was an awesome and fun video to make. Hey, if you're enjoying some of my videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe, that would be great. Here's some other videos that you may enjoy. I hope you had a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.